Welcome back YouTube. We are just about to start turn number 12 in the second mission. Let's see, where do we end up at? <clears throat> I think we're going to advance on that Tina route right now. We will send uh, two infantry and a marine. Let's bring the artillery in because I'm assuming there's going to be a big battle over here. And where do we leave our airplanes at? Airplanes, where are you? I forget if there was a fighter someplace around since last time we played. Uh. Oh, there was a fighter. That was pretty lucky. Attack! Alright, we just got rid of another bomber. We have three more aircraft to destroy. Not sure if that's possible, but it is 40 turns. And it is 40 turns of defense, so this is definitely going to be a long campaign. Don't want to go, uh, don't want to advance too far. I'm not sure if they have foxholes or bunkers anywhere around. We'll leave these marines here with one artillery and we'll send these three guys over here all right next turn Japanese turn that was a bad move ooh uh oh okay I don't think these guys can reach Henderson Field. Oh, those guys might be able to. Yeah, we're gonna press up. I wanna just knock out their artillery right away. Let's see what our fighters can do against this bomber. What's up? Alright. Well, these guys will heal up since they're down to 8. I don't really try to heal people when they're at 9. Usually 8 or under. I didn't realize the artillery took damage from the bomber. Eh, we'll, we'll have to heal that guy up next turn. Alright, that's it for this turn. Hopefully we'll be able to shoot him down. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Japanese attack on Henderson Field have set several fuel depots on fire. Until new shipments arrive, the ensuing shortage of kerosene affects the amount of aircraft we can maintain. Yeah, shit. 
our airplanes are now in low maintenance mode, which means they might still be able to sink a bomber, but they definitely won't be able to take on any fighters. Uh, let's see. Take out the artillery. Up. And we'll push up so we can retake our supply depot. Artillery should easily be able to take them out. This artillery will heal. And I want to go try to shoot down this bomber. You can see our attack really suffers now. There's only f since we're in low maintenance mode, but we should still be able to catch it. I'm assuming they. Oh yeah, there's the anti-aircraft gun. Right, now that is artillery, but they probably have an anti-aircraft gun somewhere around there. So this plane might be in trouble. them up. Our artillery should be able to take this guy out. We'll move him to protect our construction vehicle. That was a good guess. Good guess. Alright, we got three. Uh, this guy is going to retreat. Just a little defensive perimeter to see where they're coming from. I guess we should take Edison Ridge back as well. Yeah, I'll have to send one of these guys down there next time. I didn't realize that they took one of our uh, command points. It might affect uh, supplies. And I still want to try to get uh, three troopers to move uh, to Teneru. Maybe upgrade the artillery to a truck so we can move him a little quicker. We'll see, I don't really waste too much of our gold. We still have some troops down there. It appears the Japanese counterattack has broken. Henderson Field and our foothold on Guadalcanal remain secure for now. Okay. Uh, okay, the, the command point must be in the mountains. We have even though it shows up in this hex, it's this hex where the name actually is. Okay. Let's just see what it would cost. It would cost one command point, but five command points does give us a tank. Uh, yeah, it gives us a heavy Sherman. Uh, we could go anti-tank for four in this hex. It also acts as artillery. Uh, this guy can only move one. Hmm. It's all right. I guess we'll upgrade it. 
Our artillery will probably need half track soon enough anyway when we go on the offensive on some levels because it will just be too slow to keep up with our infantry and tanks. And if get an artillery gets this bridge it should be able to cover this all open field at least. And these two guys at least should be able to defend a little while till the artillery piece can get back over there. Time to land our airplanes, even though they can't refuel, at least we could uh, repair them. These guys will still continue to hold, uh, yet yeah. they, they got some stuff down here, that is for sure. This will probably, like, we'll try to extend the line down here a little bit more. Alright, let's see who hasn't moved. Anybody important? Nope. Alright, next turn. Okay. To support the expansion of, of our perimeter and any small scale offensive, this this may require additional supplies have been allocated. Allow uh can't speak. I cannot speak. Allocated to the operation. Okay, we just got uh, nine more points. Uh, I'm gonna hold off spending them. Until we need to. Alright, we retook Edison's Ridge. These guys will stay here with the construction vehicle. This guy is a core unit. And I will repair him. Uh. I think he might still be yellow if we take off next turn. Uh, sucks you can't tell when or land it. Uh, I'll have to get him in the air, I guess to say. No, I did I not see that guy last turn? All right, well, artillery will take care of him. That's oh uh, yes, yeah, still in low maintenance mode. of fuel okay so far no opposition in this direction uh, might just try to take both command points I don't think we get any bonus for here but it might give us some gold so let's let's at least try it uh, these guys can come back Our line here will still hold until we see uh, what other Japanese troops are coming. Because if anything, we could purchase and we should be able to uh, drop new troops in right here around our little city. And if we have to get a tank or anything like that to mobilize, uh, they'll be able to reach it like in a turn. So that's a good holding spot. Okay. Alright, that was heavy infantry. Shipments of new aircraft fuel have arrived. Rectifying the fuel shortage suffered on Henderson Field. Okay, why is he still yellow? Alright, I'm just gonna land him again. To see if that uh, fuel goes away next turn. Alright, artillery strike. Foxhole uh, or heavy infantry. I think we'll attack the heavy infantry. Alright, at least the heavy infantry is out for uh, next turn. The foxhole might do some damage. We got artillery, and that will suppress the foxhole next turn. Alright, these guys will come back up. They're still protecting the construction vehicle. Uh, 
these guys are vulnerable, but I have two artillery right here. So if any Japanese troops sneak up from the south side, uh, we can just bombard them. And then, uh, since we have command points, we can always drop down an extra infantry unit if we need it. This guy take off. I don't think any guys can take off, right? Okay. Next turn. Uh, we're gonna attack the foxhole. I guess that was a mistake last round. We should have. Whoa. Yeah, we should have took out the foxhole. Oof, these guys are taking some heavy losses. But, that's alright. We haven't really taken that many losses or used that many command points on uh, replenishing anybody yet. So. Alright, now let's see if they're out of low maintenance mode. Uh, you know what, they might be out of low maintenance mode next turn, since this is, uh, I think they're on low maintenance when uh, they first, first take off. So we might have to wait a full turn to see uh, what happens. Alright, we'll just move our artillery up a little bit more. And that's it. Let's see what the Japanese do. Okay. Oh yeah, they got troops coming. Let's see, our artillery can hit, yes. Oh, I was so hoping to get a double artillery strike. Troops, move these guys off the line, heal these guys completely up to 10, and then next turn we'll uh, get the foxhole. Let's see, next turn they could heal for 5, they would be at 7, eh, might as well heal for 2 and then take them up to 9 next turn. Looks like we have one artillery piece down here by itself, completely entrenched. Uh, okay. Oh, crap, all they have ships. Uh, Japanese battleships, Congo and Haruna are bombarding our position with heavy fragmentation shells. We'll have to take this beating until the break of dawn forces the enemy fleet to retire. Yeah, because we have absolutely nothing that could do anything. The battleships, okay, goodbye. Let me just go out and scale how many ships they got. Oh yeah, two battleships. That was what the message said, and probably a cruiser or a destroyer or something. Alright. Alright, these guys will heal up. Five. Artillery will pound the foxhole. Oh, we'll force up. Alright, we will take this and we will scout this one. We might just send this U.S. infantry to capture this via the road and then get back. Alright. That's about all we can do. Let's see what... So we will accomplish this. This we may or may not get. It depends if uh, they have any more bombers. And we are trying to protect the construction groups still. I'm not sure how much pounding the battleships will do to the sea bees though. It's uh, kind of unfair. You are unfair Japanese. Oh yeah, it looks like they got two destroyers and a cruiser. 
And now they have a flotilla. A flotilla of Japanese transport ships has been spotted heading for Guadalcanal. Scramble all aircraft available and intercept these reinforcements before they can reach the shoreline. And for some reason, we can see over here. That's weird. Marines, infantry, and heavy infantry. And they had at least one heavy infantry unit here. Artillery, and I think an anti-aircraft over here. Uh, so yeah, these guys are still going to have to hold the line. Mm. All right. Yes, raiding party victory! A successful raid against the village of Tanaru has captured Japanese rations, weapons, and ammunition. With the U.S. fleet still struggling to unload enough supplies, these make a welcome addition to our meager reserves. Alright. It doesn't... At least the wildcat can't see anything over here. Uh... Time to get these troops back. I'm probably going to send this one more marine unit down here. And now you... Come back here. Alright, that should be everyone I could possibly move. Yeah, he's still guarding. Alright, next turn. And now we can't see them. Okay. I guess they let you see that because of the pop-up. It was kind of weird. At least could have showed like the blinking uh, radar thing. So you couldn't tell which types of troops they were landing. We do have much gold, but we trying to save that because I am not sure what the next missions come. I'm assuming that there might be some missions where we have to buy more air and more navy and those things cost. Japanese infantry, uh oh. Bring back the artillery. That was a waste anyway, but figured why not. We had to fly this way anyway. Yeah, since we didn't have enough points for a scout plane, I'm trying to use the Wildcats to scout a little bit without taking too much damage. These guys will continue to move down, get four troops down here, that will help things out. I'm still going to hold off buying anything. Oh crap. Ooh, our guy did pretty good against a three star uh, fighter. Let's see. I could trade blows with them. Alright, two and two. <laughs> See if this how my scout will probably take two turns to reach in. Alright, and the Japanese symmetry did not attack, so that was a good sign. And we will just hold here. Probably should get off of this bridge. Yeah, okay. That'll work. Alright, next turn. Uh, new units available. Looks like we got a new... Uh, Quick retrieve, flexible pay thing. Uh, looks like we got an upgraded uh, recon vehicle. Oh, 
thought that's where the Japanese airplane went. Oh my, I totally didn't see him. He like blended into the jungle. That was my mistake. Oh god, I feel so stupid. But we might be able to take out a three star guy. Oh, we just got. Hopefully, he flies in this direction. Because if he flies up here, we'll probably lose track of him. Alright, reposition our main force. are entrenched well we're probably gonna we're probably gonna wait one more artillery strike it's probably better that we take him out because they may have been trying to retake at tender and I don't know if we'll lose like command points or anything for losing it uh, these guys are still holding and waiting for the counterattack. I'm hoping he's right there let's say right there Can this guy reach him? Yes. We might be able to take him out next turn because I don't I think he can only get on the exit hex and he can't leave. So we just have to pay close attention until which hex he goes if he's at out of visual range. Alright, all these guys are still holding. I'm gonna leave it like that. So this guy uh, might as well switch them to, and we'll bombard him again. So they are severely entrenched. It looks like. All right, he'll move up. Oh, crap. Okay, so they got, they got some they got some numbers over here in the jungle. They got some numbers. <sighs> Looks like uh, we'll have to attack. All right, we didn't take any losses, and he won't attack Orange. And even if these guys attack, we should probably only lose two or three because they won't get their entrenchment bonus if they're on the offense. Um, and I'm still going to leave this, these two guys out there with, with the artillery piece. See what happens. Alright, who haven't we moved? Just these guys. Alright, next turn. Alright, he's on that hex. I don't think... They could leave. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. Reports from the scouting party to real Japanese troops and tanks moving through the jungles around Lunga Point. We must prepare for yet another Japanese counterattack. Alright. Gotta take them out. Uh, crap. If I move, I can only replenish two. Uh, I was gonna have to waste the 15 points. They shouldn't lose eight, even orange, in one in one turn. And the Japanese will have to move up a little bit. All right, we got the three-star fighter. There's only one more. This guy will come back for repairs. Ooh, and that's the buzzer. So it must be 30 minutes. All right, this will be the last turn for this episode. Let's see uh, what we can do here. Yeah, so far, 
I'm still gonna... I mean, I'm not real worried about taking... This additional ground forces around the Lunga perimeter, and this is the Lunga perimeter. So all that's going to do is give me more uh, command points for this mission. So I don't really have to take it. We can just hold out 12 turns. We'll try to take it after their attack, because I don't know how many tanks they brought. Uh, this may or may not happen if they have another bomber. And the construction group I want to do, especially we can get more airplanes on the next missions. Because six command points for fighters does not give us enough because you need at least two fighters like every level usually at least that's how the other campaigns were all right that'll do it for this episode guys see you next time